Oh God. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Abe. Welcome back to the Higher Power Lifestyle YouTube channel. It's early in the morning. I'm just getting up, talking low so I don't disturb everybody. But you know, you guys can hear me so we good. Uh, today is the day of reckoning. <laughs> nah, just playing. But today is an important day because I am showing you guys one of the first official exercises of higher power lifestyle. The exercise is called the lie detector. All right. The lie detector is an exercise that's going to test whether or not you are serious and truthful about your exercise endeavors. All right. There's no way around cheating yourself out of this exercise because it takes a lot of determination um, and it takes a lot of commitment, okay? So this exercise, the lie detector, is a 10 mile run, okay? 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 crunches in 24 hours, all right? So again, 10 mile run, 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 crunches in 24 hours, all right? Now, it may sound like a lot, but again, you have 24 hours to do it. And honestly, if you can't run the full 10 miles all at once, then break it up. Do two miles every three hours or do five miles every few hours or whatever you have to do to get the 10 miles in. And also, if you're physically like limited, like if you haven't really ran 10 miles before, you can run, walk the distance or you can walk the 10 miles, all right? It's pretty much no excuses when it comes to the lie detector. There's no way around it. Um, and then also a thousand push-ups, a thousand crunches. So the push-ups and crunches for me, I'm breaking them up. I'm doing 20 sets of 50. And that's how I'm gonna get through the 1,000 push-ups, the 1,000 crunches. And that's it. So uh, I'm going to get my day started. I'm about to get everything going. Um, I'm going to get me a pre-workout. I'm going to stretch. I'm going to hit up the A-Box gun, you know, to massage the muscles, get those activated before I hit the road. Also, before I hit the road, uh, I wanted to show you a few things that I bring along with me to help me along my journey. First and foremost is the phone, of course. Uh, you got to have your music, you know, you got to have your music. You have like a coaching app you know, whatever the case may be, load it up, get it going. So the next thing is headphones, of course. We got Senso headphones, um, got them off of Amazon for 20 bucks. So headphones is a must, good quality. I've had the Beats Solo 3s. Um, they lost quality over like, you know, a few months, like it, you know, the sound got lower, you know, it's crazy. So it was last time, you know, I was gonna spend a hundred something dollars on some headphones, man. Right here, 20 bucks. I got some JLab headphones that I use in the gym, 50 bucks from Best Buy. They work really, really good. No knock on Beats, I got the over the ear Beats, but in terms of like the Bluetooth for exercise, for whatever reason, I noticed the sound quality diminish over a certain period of time. So anyway, next thing is my uh, heart rate monitor. Um, I like to do heart zone training as well. And I like to also be in tune with, um, you know, just where my heart rate is and, you know, if I can go harder or if I need to scale back a little bit. The next thing is my G shot. Okay. Is it counts my steps. Okay. I'm not a huge fan. I like the smart watches. Uh, I don't like all the radiation, you know, uh, just sitting on my wrists all day. So, um, this right here does the trick for me, you know, so, um, it counts my steps and my calories and I'm good. The next thing is 
the armband, of course. Like, I cannot run with a phone in my pocket. I cannot run with the phone in my hand. Like, couldn't do it. And especially for 10 miles. Not happening. So, armband. Got this off of Amazon, too. Like this armband because, you know, it just kind of straps on, like, the corners of the phone. And you still have, like, full access. And it actually turns and, and all of that stuff. So, makes it easier. And I know what you're asking. I'm like, is that a Christmas tree? Yes and no. Um, keep the tree up year round. I like to remind myself that the present is a gift that we're all blessed enough to receive. And we should appreciate it. We should unwrap it and throw away everything that we don't need. All right. So that is my constant reminder to stay in the present. You get it and appreciate the present as the gift that it is. So um, that's my philosophy behind my tree. Plus, the wifey thinks it looks good. All right, so that's what that's all about. Anyway, I'm about to knock out my first set of 50 push-ups and 50 crunches. And then I'm going to hit the ground running. All right, for my 10-mile run. Let's get it. What's going on, y'all? Just got back from my 10 mile run. Feeling great. About to shower, about to hit the massage gun. Rest of the day, you know what it is. Focusing on knocking out the 1,000 crunches, 1,000 push ups. I've already done one set, so I have 950 more to go, baby. Let's get it. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. What's going on guys? It's halftime. All right, so I'm halfway through 500 crunches, 500 push-ups. I will have to say that the muscle fatigue is setting in. Uh, so around like the 400 mark, uh, my arms are cramping and 
my pecs are cramping. So, um, but it's all good, you know. So I, I did rehydrate, make sure that, you know, I took some vitamins. And so I, I'm just doing what I need to do to get through this next 500. But I wanted to check in with you guys. Um, you know, I'm, my body, you can tell, is not used to this volume of push-ups. I'm going to have to really, really, really push through. I may adjust uh, the amount that I do at one time to maybe like 25. I don't know yet, but we'll see. But anyway, just checking in real quick. Like I said, half time, 500 push-ups down, 500 crunches down, 500 more to go. All right. What's going on, y'all? This is your boy Abe. I am done. Let me tell you, that was a challenge. To do a lot of types of exercise is definitely a challenge, and it's going to push you to your limits because, as you can see in some of my later sets, I was burnt out. I was done. I was done, but I gave it my absolute all. I had nothing in the tank. Okay, so. Again, I challenge you guys to do it. Um, it is something that, again, is going to take a full commitment and determination from you um, to complete it. Like I said, if you don't have the ability to knock out 10 miles straight, chop it up. As you can see, you know, like I did 50 push-ups at a time. If you could do more, do more. If you have to do less, do less. The goal is to do 10 miles, 1,000 push-ups, 1,000 crunches in a 24 hour period, okay? That is the goal, all right? So 
I got mine done. That is the lie detector. That is a higher power exercise. If you do it, I want to know how it went. And, you know, what was your high points? What was your low points? Because I'm telling you, when your arms are done, your arms are done. This is a quarantine friendly exercise. All right. So, um, you know, no excuses, man. This is something that's going to test your commitment and tell you whether or not you are lying to yourself or, you know, you really, really, really are in this to win this. So, again, that's it. I'm not going to ramble too much. I got it done. All right. Like, subscribe. I'm about to go hit the track with little bro. He wanted to do some track work. So, I'm about to head out, do some track work with him real quick. Might keep it light. Might do like a little 5K. Um, I'm home and rest, you know, so. That's it, man. Thank you guys for watching. Um, again, let me know if you do the uh, lie detector exercise. I'd love to know how it went. Thanks again. Remember, tap into your higher power, man. Tap into your higher power more than ever right now. So I'm praying for all the people that have been affected by this coronavirus thing. Um, stay strong. Do your best to stay healthy. And just keep pushing, man. We're going to get through this. Again, higher power lifestyle, baby. Let's get high. Peace.